third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. What a game we've seen here for Salmon. He's got eight points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. And, and you can't undervalue the importance of that. Many times the game comes down to which team wins the free throw battle. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. It's been quite a game for John Selman. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. And I tell you what, that allowed him to get his team several multiple shot opportunities. His work on the offensive glass has been invaluable. On the court for Cleveland. Crab is up there with Luke and Baamute. Then there's Josh Harrelson. Then there's John Jenkins. And it's Levine and it's the point guard. Stauskas kicks to Laverne. It's rebounded by Jenkins. And honestly, not real happy with the shot selection on that one. Yeah, clearly a brain fade there. He's got to be a little smarter in his choice making. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Here's Stauskas following the score by Cleveland. The drive by Collison misses from close range. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. Crabs gone one of three from the field here. Collison kicks to Selmans. And again, no good by Brooklyn. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Bonnie Price has checked in for Brooklyn. A switch here also for Cleveland. Odin's checked in. Here's Levine. He's got 11. Crab, no good. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Stauskas dishes to Muhammad. Salmons kicks to Laverne. And that one's good. Laverne's got seven. And Clark, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets, and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Now, here's Salmons, following the miss by Greg Oden. Now, Muhammad. On the wing, Salmons. Lots of room. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. So, timeout called here, the first for Cleveland. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchup. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. A platoon swap here for Brooklyn. Levine kicks to Pressy. To the paint. Here's Green. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Right around three minutes into the second half. Frazier outside. Here's Franklin. He has five. Passes it to Rozier. Misses the three. And here's Cleveland. Bean passes to Crab. Pushing it up. Here's Rozier, and it's Brooklyn scoring again. We've got 128 left here in the third quarter. Here's Preston. Tradition out to Green. And lock 
points of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. For Cleveland, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. The free throw drops for Green. And both free throws good for Green. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. One sixteen left in the third. Brooklyn with the ball. A drive by Collison. And the shot is good. Collison's got six. Yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over him. You know, guys sometimes love proving people wrong. You know that from guys you've played with. <laughs> and Greg, this mismatch gives him an opportunity to uh, quiet the haters and they say okay for Cleveland they have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line Tressie hits them both Brooklyn with the ball and Laverne kicks to Collison here's Selmans here's Laverne it's blocked well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, Clark. No doubt about it. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Kevin, you look at their free throw percentage. They've been very efficient from the line today. That's a big factor. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Harrelson's checked in, and Jones subbed in for Graham. Salmons for the three. Now Cleveland moving it up. Here's Levine. It's deflected. A drive by Collison. Salmons dishes to Laverne. Salmons kicks to Collison. Pass to Stauskas. Fires from deep. And no good trying to get that one. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Brooklyn trailing. Laverne is out there with Muhammad. Then it's Salmons. And there's Collison. And it's Stauskas in a, the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's Drew after Darren Collison's bucket. Swiped it away. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Selmans gets the bucket. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Brooklyn. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. Yeah, and they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. And this has really been a well-played game up to this point. And you know what? I bet it stays that way until the end. I certainly hope so. I mean, it's been a terrific contest, and there's nothing like a pair of teams just balling out the way they have been. And that's a foul called on Nick Stauskas. And that'll be his third foul so far. And Brooklyn making a change here. Rice is checked in. And then for Cleveland, Crab comes in for Harris. And Presley subbed in for Drew. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays <laughs> just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. I tell you what, the great dunk, and then this is even a better game we got going on right now. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win, and you'd hate to lose. Oof. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the Here's Muhammad. Salmons gets the bucket. 
Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. And at this stage of a tight game, the tired legs really start to show. A defense becomes vulnerable if you can continue to pound it inside. There's the pick. Shot clock at six. Pressing. And Muhammad sends it back. And they get it back. Yeah, you, you've got to avoid those kinds of turnovers. Yeah, mistakes like that derail any team. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hi, Kevin. Randy Whitman was just going over the plan with his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out, full speed. Guys? They set the pick. Salmons for the three. Cleveland trails by three. Pressy passes to Irving. Kicks it out to Jones. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And it's Ronnie Price with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Yeah, you, you've got to avoid those kinds of turnovers. Yeah, mistakes like that derail any team. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Price has got the lead up to five now for Brooklyn. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. And all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks that Coach Drew. Now, here's Selmans. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. They get Craig open. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Timeout called Cleveland. They're behind by six. 139 left in the fourth quarter. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Looney's checked in for Muhammad. Quincy's has come in for Laverne. Jamal Franklin, he's checked in for John Salmons. And it's Rogier in for Nick Stauskas. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. They haven't done as much inside as they did in the first half. They've got to get back to their game plan, which is to work the ball inside and then force the defense to react and play from there. Here's Rozier. Price outside. Here's Rozier. Back to Price. Just five on the clock. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Now Cleveland moving it up. Here's Oden. And it's thrown down hard with both hands vital basket there this is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over looney's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight here's crab and the go-ahead bucket no good here's rogier yes they don't get any bigger than that basket they needed it greg and he gave it to him Jones, no one around him. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Oh, and that fella can flat out fly, can he? Reminds me of a young Greg Anthony oh, out of UNLV. No doubt about that. <laughs> just look at the elevation he climbed to right there. Kevin, you just made my knees hurt. 